Hey guys, this is Dabs Nishmail. So in today's tutorial, we are going to take a look at how to work with the PDF object extension in WYSIWYG Web Builder. So the PDF object extension allows you to embed PDF files in your web page without you necessarily having had to download the file first. So this is a very cool tool, which I must say it's very, very great in, in case you probably would like to have uh, PDF files attached to your web pages. So let's take a look at how to go about this extension. So um, I already have the extension installed. In case you don't have it installed, just go to the extension manager, locate it and then install it. And then once you're done, you have it in your toolbox. So I currently have it here in my toolbox. I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to draw on the canvas. Now, what I'm going to do next is just simply double click on this particular extension. And then I have a couple of options in here. So let's take a look at the options. So the first one is fallback HTML. Now this is an HTML page, which is mostly going to contain the same content on the PDF. So this is going to be an alternative in case the PDF file has issues and it can't open. Then it will take you to the HTML page for you to see the same thing. And then the next part is the file name. So the file name, this is where you select the PDF file you intend to embed. So in my case, I'm going to select this and then I'm going to embed that. And then you have messages. So messages gives you information about um, the PDF. So you get to see maybe the title of the this and the PDF and other details of it. So you might want to turn this on as well as the navigation pane. So this allows you to see the number of pages in the PDF and then you can easily navigate to the other pages. And then you have the page mode. So this allows you to display the PDF either with bookmarks as well as stamps. Probably I might, we might want to leave this on none. And then you have scroll bars, which allows you to scroll within the PDF in case, because this particular size might not fit the entire um, information within the PDF. So you probably might either want this enabled or off. And then you have status bar, which gives you information or status about the PDF, maybe the page you are on and, and so on, as well as you have two bars. So you might want to turn on these ones and then this now you finally have zoom which zooms in the pdf by default to 100 you can reduce this you can increase this now 100 gives you uh, should i say a normal view of the pdf if you reduce it a bit you probably get to see um, a wider space of the pdf and then you have styles which shows um, how most of these um, items over here are going to display so let's just go ahead and then take a look at how this is going to work in WYSIWYG web builder so i already have a pdf file which I have selected. Let me just increase the height of this a bit. And then I'm going to go ahead to preview this in the browser. So as you can see, I have my PDF file here. The reason why I'm having this um, scroll back to the bottom is because the PDF uh, information is wider than the space I've provided for it. So if I come back here and then let me just reduce the zoom a bit and see how that is going to function. So you realize that once I reduce the zoom, it gives me a full view of the PDF. So this makes it easier for me to um, decide on how I would like to present the PDF in my web page. And then as you can see, so this is where I get to see the information about the PDF. So this is um, the number. This gives probably gives you the number of pages in the form of thumb. You can also search within the PDF document. You can see the number of pages you can switch to. You can increase the zoom as well as you have additional information here, which allows you to do more with even the PDF. So basically this is how to go about using the PDF object. This is a very unique and um, a very interesting tool that allows you to embed PDF files within your um, HTML project. So you might probably want to check it out and then let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section. So in case you are new, as usual, kindly smash the subscribe button and then don't forget to hit on the bell also so that anytime there's a new video, you get to see it. Once again, my name is Dabson Ishmael. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.